So uh, it's with, uh, with some sadness that I report that my opponent, uh, Meg Whitman, uh, has actually crossed a very important line in trying to drive me out of this race. Now, I'm not talking about dirty campaign politics. We all know how hardball you know, political campaigns can be. I'm talking about crossing a very important bright line where she's effectively trying to get me out of the race by uh, utilizing tactics that are just, just absolutely outright wrong. Now, we think that, that uh, the line she's crossed is so serious uh, that we've uh, reported this this morning to the proper law enforcement officials, including the FBI, uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office, and the California Attorney General. Now, first, it's important to note that she's been trying to get me out of this race for over 12 months. Now, f it started with phone calls, you know, to my friends and supporters. Now, that didn't work. So then they, they tried another tactic to, to call people in the media, maybe many of you, are trying to plant the information that I was going to not run or I was planning my exit. Uh, now, that didn't work either. The information was false. And then so in the last uh, couple of weeks, uh, the desperation, the, the acceleration of tactics the, had just really escalated from talk to threats. Now, last week, something very disturbing, disturbing happened uh, when Mike Murphy... Um, Meg Whitman's uh, chief political strategist, uh, contacted multiple members of my campaign team and delivered a crystal clear threat, both over the phone and in emails. And the email had a crystal clear message. Uh, Steve Poisoner, don't file, get out of the race or else. And the or else part was, uh, if you don't get out, then uh, we will spend $40 million, quote, tearing you up and damaging you. And then it went on to say, uh, but we will offer you a consolation prize. If you, if you don't run for governor, we'll make sure to clear the field for you so that you're the Republican nominee for U.S. Senate in 2012.